Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can use it as advice. Use it. Don't use it. It's all up to you. Do with it what you will. Now today I'm answering a question from a mama who has a little baby and she wants to know how can I get my husband to help me a little bit more? You know, split the chores a bit so sometimes I can sit and sip on my wine sometimes. You know, we need to have some time. I need my time. Okay, so how do I get him more involved, take a few of the chores and help me out just a little bit? So this, these are a few things that I did and maybe they will help you as well. Now, if you have a burning question deep down in your soul and you're just like, Kopano, what would you do in this situation? Then head over to my Instagram and look for this picture right here in that picture answer and let me know what you want me to talk about or answer in my next video and maybe we'll create a video about it now for today let's get back to the topic of that mama who needs some help now the thing about getting your man to be more involved in terms of taking care of the baby and splitting some of the work is that a lot of the times you're the problem you miss perfectionism you are oh my gosh don't do this don't touch a baby like that oh my gosh he's going to kill the baby he's not gonna kill the baby all right a lot of the times you are the problem mama you need to let go a little bit and let him be more involved he's got his own journey and his own relationship that he needs to grow with the baby so you need to give them the space to make that happen so before we even get into the tips and tricks and the things that you can do First, you need to be willing to let go just a little bit because that's how you then find your personal space. That's how you then split things and you start to make things work out between the two of you. Now, number one is to go half and half. At the beginning, especially if this is the first time as a couple, you are both learning a lot about the baby. But the truth is, as a mom, you do have that instinct that comes into the picture and it really helps you, right? You might not know what to do, but you just jump into it and you learn as you go. But men aren't the same. Now, we were pregnant with these people. We read up everything about these little people. And when they come, we have a little bit more... It might not be the same experience, but we have a little bit more to give and we are more natural at it than the dads are. So at the beginning, let him be there with you as you're going through the task. So bath time, let him be in the room during bath time and split some of the things as you go. Take it half and half. When you feed him, let him burp the baby. Take every single task and split as many tasks as you possibly can. Right at the beginning, try and do everything together. So even if you're feeding, feed around your man. Even if it's bath time, feed with your man in the room. When it's changing time, let him be there so he can see and maybe help out here and there as an extra pair of hands while you're going through everything. That way, you guys get to share the experience. Even if you're the hands-on one, he can actually observe and see how things are working at the beginning of the whole journey. Number two, and this is the thing that you will have in bucket loads when you become a mom, is patience. You need to be patient with your man. Like you may be fine with seeing poop, but his reactions won't be the same. You may be fine with seeing this liquidy yellow substance at the beginning or the black substance at the beginning. You know how it is when you have a baby, but he may just be like, mm. He may not be able to take it that way, right? Well, not the same. We have seen a lot of disgusting things come out of ourselves. So when you have a person just excreting these ex disgusting things, they're fine with us. But he may need a bit of an adjustment time. So you need to be a bit patient with him. And it's not just about the baby poop. He's not you. He's not going to do things exactly the same way you do. God created dads for a reason. Men do things differently and they handle babies a little different. Yes, you want the safety element, but he's not going to be you. Your mom, he's dad. Let mom have her own style and let dad have his own style. So let him be patient with him. Let him do it his way and don't force him to do it exactly the way you do. Number three is when you guys get a little bit into the flow of things, give him space. So at the beginning, you have your wash time together and that's what we did and it happened for quite some time. We had our wash time together with baby. He was around when I was feeding, he was around when I was burping. But when he started to get the hang of things, I'd leave the room. Like right now, it's bath time right now. He's in the other room, totally handling bath time by himself while I'm in here doing my work. 
and you want to do the same thing for him and that's how you get your alone time mama you need to learn to leave the room if he struggles to put baby to sleep let him figure out some ways to do it unless he asks you for help give them space the baby will be fine. He is not going to kill his own seed. Or sap or leave the man to figure out how to do things. So literally, give him space. Leave the room so that things can happen. Space. Number four is something that you had nine months to deal with. This man is nervous. He may not say so. Or he may be Mr. Cool, like, I got this. But trust me. He ain't got nothing. He's nervous. So you need to make him feel a little bit more comfortable. You've had some time to like simmer on this thing. You've had friends that are also pregnant. A lot of the times you've been around your friend's babies. So you've actually gotten some time to be more comfortable with the baby. And also you just spend more hours with this person. Babies are so fragile. They're so tiny and they look like they could break, especially at the beginning. So you need to reassure your man that, listen, you're doing well. You're fine. Comfort him, smooth, soothe him. The only person who needs soothing is not just the baby. Your man is also going to need some soothing. He's realizing this thing that just happened, this miracle that just happened. You've had some time to deal with it. He may need some time to deal with it as well. So comfort him. As soon as you give birth, it's just a warning. You're not gonna have one baby, you're gonna have two. Number six is to start during pregnancy. So a lot of the times you feel that I'm the one with the baby in my stomach. I'm the one going through this. I'm the one going through morning sickness. I'm the one going through the pain. But your man is also there. So try and get him involved during pregnancy. When the baby is still in your stomach, let him know how you're feeling. Let him in on what's going on. Let him help you a little bit. Let him help you with the pillows. Let him help you getting around. That way he gets involved with the baby even before the baby gets out of the stomach. It eases him into knowing that this little person is a lot of work and the work starts with pregnancy. During pregnancy, you know how they say that the sleepless nights start with pregnancy because you need to pee a hundred times and you start to get into the flow of things because you get agitated and all of those, those things that you get training for before the baby comes? Let him in on it. So if you go out to go and have a pee, come back and give him a kiss to let him know that you've gone out, right? It doesn't mean that you have to wake the guy up because I know I felt like that. I peed so many times and I was so jealous of this man getting so much sleep. I literally felt like slapping him so he can wake up and just lie awake with me. But you don't have to do that. During pregnancy, let him in on how you're feeling and how he can make it easier or better for you. Introduce him to the baby things in the pregnancy journey. So you don't want to go get the baby bag without him. Let him be there so he can see the nappy, so he can see what bum cream is. He has to learn all these things that you've been studying and all these checklists that you have. Involve him in the process as you are pregnant. So by the time the baby comes, he's familiar with some of the things that the baby needs and is going to do. Number six, and this is one that really works for me and helped my friends as well. I saw that one of my friends who was pregnant at the same time as me, her man had a baby app. One of the apps that had the least information, right? So some of the apps have a lot of information and they, they really make you so confused. I know apps like Baby Center have a lot of information and what to expect. They have a lot of information that can make you overwhelmed. But I liked, for example, the Philips app. So Philips Baby, Philips Event had an app where you can see the baby and it makes it look real inside the tummy and it gives you the top line information that you need to have. It doesn't make you feel nervous, but it eases you into pregnancy and what to expect. And it actually has tips specifically for dads. So get him that app so he can get eased into the pregnancy and birthing journey before the baby comes. My seventh and final tip, which is actually something that my husband helped me do and to make him feel more comfortable in helping the baby, was communicating. But not just telling him what you want, but telling him in advance. My husband used to get super, super agitated and very nervous when I used to tell him to do things last minute. And for me, I used to think to myself, how can you expect me to plan? My life is a mess, baby's here. But once I realized that actually, babies are quite routine things, little people, and they can help you to be more organized. Being more organized with my baby has helped me to communicate better with my husband. We've done things such as being ahead of time in terms of splitting when we do bath time. So on certain days of the week, 
hubby knows for sure that he's doing bath time and other days i do bath time he knows which fees he's going to do so i speak to him in advance especially in the beginning don't just spring it up on your man that yo tonight is your bath time no let him know that hey why don't we try tuesday thursday and friday you'll do bath time that way he'll ask you whatever questions he needs to ask and he can mentally prepare Men and women think about things differently. So if you're going to communicate with your man, don't spring things up on him last minute. Try and think ahead and maybe plan ahead. If you want him to do bath time, don't spring it up on him the same day. Let him know a day in advance or two days in advance so he can prepare. And if you want him to help you with certain things, take him through the steps so he knows what it is and don't just spring it up on him. Men and women handle situations differently. And you literally become superwoman when you become a mother. It may take a little bit more time for your husband or your man to become superman. So give him some tips, give him some advice and speak to him, speak to him ahead of time. Now look honey, I know you're superwoman, but that man is going to need some time to become superman. You're going to need to help him and coach him along. And I am serious, when you give birth, you give birth to two babies your man and the actual person that just slid right out of you. Now, those are the things that I did to help my man be more involved with the baby, communication being the biggest one. But there are some things that you may want to add at the bottom in the communication, in the chats down. Let me know in the comments what you think and what you would have done differently or what you did to help your man be more involved in taking care of the baby. Now, those are the tips that I have for you guys. That's it for what I have to say about getting your man more involved in helping with the baby. I'm Kopana Shimange and this is how I do things. Confidence has changed my life. I used to be a very shy person. I used to be in situations and think to myself that I could have handled it much, much better. There are a few things that I did to help me be more confident and to live out the situations of my life much better. Having more confidence has allowed me to build the brand and the business that I wanted for myself and to live out my life exactly the way I wanted to. Now, if you want to learn how you can build up your confidence, then head over to kopanoshimange.com and download my ebook on how you can start boosting your confidence today.